Hey, Denny Van here with Heartfelt Awakening. Welcome, Awakening Hearts. I'm so excited to be talking with Pamela Downs. Hey, darling. Apparently, I remind you of someone. How are you? I'm good. How are you? So good to see you. Fabulous. Fabulous. And how did we connect? We connected via the podcast. Um, find a guest, looking for a guest. Or, or I love that group. Yeah. I did too. Yeah. Very cool. So I'm reading your bio and um, you are a creative, intuitive and trans channeler yeah. for over 20 years. Mm-hmm. Tell us about that. Oh my gosh. So my journey, you know how when you're growing up, you know what you're good at, but you don't really understand who you are. And it takes like so many experiences throughout your life to be able to look back and say, oh yeah, I was a creative intuitive and I was a super empath and an artist and a musician. Um, I was, you know, stuck in front of my piano at a very young age. And, you know, like a lot of people, I had a a tumultuous um, childhood and it was where I went to seek um, solace and, and, and refuge from chaos sometimes. And I used to think that I was escaping until I realized now at this age that I was connecting with spirit. That was what I was doing. And I had such a beautiful epiphany one day. I was talking with someone. I was like, that's what I was doing. Um, so I have, um, I started awakening, like a fully awakening around 2008, 2012. And that's when I started understanding who I am as a musician and an artist and an empath. And then my psychic ability started to develop and then I started having all kinds of other experiences, which we'll probably talk about today. Um, oh, for sure. We'd yeah, love to yeah. Talk about your experiences. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So you're the founder of Spirit Calling, which is an yes. online community. Yes. And so before we get there, mm-hmm. I mean, we talked a little bit about what got you on your spiritual journey, but um, what changed? What was it that changed? Yeah, what made my perspective change? For sure. I understand that I was having a spiritual awakening. I like to call it my knockdown. And I think that a lot of people have knocked down. And it's not a funny subject. It's very serious. But, you know, it's almost, I laugh because it's almost like God, like spirit, God, um, great spirit, whatever you want to call it. It's like, boom, I'm going to just knock you down a little bit. I'm going to take you off of your yourself and your high horse or whatever it is. And I'm you gotta get, laugh though. You gotta I mean, laugh. Once right? you've gone yeah. through it and look back, it's like, oh yes. yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to let you see things with new eyes. I'm gonna let you, you know, break out of, of the cycle and the and the daily ritual and the nonsense and the chaos and all the things so that you can see things differently. And that's what started. Um my in 2008, 2012, we had you know a recession. My husband lost his job. I was an entrepreneur. I had my own business. Marketing got cut, the first thing to get cut. We wound up losing our house, losing our savings, losing everything, our friends, everything. And by way of like this little miracle, we found this little house. And I moved my whole family, dog, big kids, like everybody over to this house. And suddenly, you know, it was it was excruciating to lose everything. But then suddenly my perspective changed. I found Abraham Hicks. Esther channels this infinite divine intelligent group of beings called Abraham. And I started listening to them and understanding the law of attraction and understanding that I am the creator of my reality. I draw in what I put out. So I stopped my dialogue instead of saying, Pamela, how are you doing? Oh, he lost his job. Marketing got cut. We had to leave our house. I started saying, it's amazing. I kept my business during a recession. We have this amazing little house and we were able to carry our house with a renter and we're all spending time together. I'm walking my kids to school. It's amazing. And everything started to shift. And I remember synchronicity started to happen. People got put at the right place at the right time. And my perspective started to change. And then I started on this journey of wanting to understand religion, wanting to understand you know, this whole belief system that I was brought up into. And that's when like all the, that's when like the little cracks start, you know, and you're, you're like, what is this? What is that? And then you're like pulling out, trying to get questions lead to more questions. Yeah, (laughs) absolutely. And I went down this rabbit hole, a rabbit hole. I mean, I wanted to know where Jesus disappeared too. I wanted to know, I started understanding how all the religions basically are are the same. And (laughs) 
you know, things I had never thought of before. And um, that is when I started realizing that I am an infinite being and I basically exist in love and everything except for love is, is fear. There's two ways of being, there's love or fear, love or fear. And I started understanding that if I choose fear, I'm choosing the opposite of love and I'm holding myself back. I'm withdrawing from opportunity and, and, and anything that I could possibly want in my life. And I started making decisions out of love and not fear. And one of those was that I wasn't happy in my marriage. As I started expanding, this was still, he was still staying here and I was expanding and his, his vision was still like this. And mine was like, you know, multicolor rainbow, like, you're automatically out of alignment. Yeah. We're just so out of alignment and it got really difficult and really difficult. Um, it took me about three years to get to the point where I had the courage. It's my own process. It's gotten smaller now, but it used to take a little bit of, because I worry, I'm a warrior and I'm, I'm an empath. How's it going to affect this? How's it going to affect that? How will I do this myself? And I said, finally, I'm already doing everything myself and I will not accept this for the rest of my life. Because I believe there's more. I believe that anything I want is mine. And I had to step into love for myself, for my kids, for opportunity, for everything. And I did it. And that was it. Like that one big jump just changed my life completely. Um, I love started. It. Yeah. I, I don't want to keep on talking. Maybe um, you have questions. Well, you, said, you said something important. I, I it, you know, I, I grabbed onto it. It's like, wow, love or fear, you know, you yeah. got this going back and forth. And when you realize one consumes, the other creates. Yes. Yes. So we choose to either be consumed by the fear or create through love. And yes. that is fantastic. Yes. And it is a process, isn't it? You it talk is. about um, in your bio that you work with clients to define their soul's purpose. What does yeah. that look like? Yeah, so it's a big thing. You know, as an entrepreneur, a solopreneur, um, I was a creative intuitive. And as I started waking up, I started connecting in a, a completely different way. I started having purpose-driven clients who were doing the same thing. They were going through fear for opportunity for themselves. They were leaving corporate America to start this business they've always wanted to, you know, high paying jobs with travel all over the world to create ways of being that were going to improve humankind, to help people evolve. And um, I started connecting in a higher level with people where I was able to see, they would talk about what they wanted to create. And I was actually able to see how it would unfold and how I could help them. And I started seeing that I was a super um, connector. I started meeting all different kinds of people that could help other people. And it's, it's really kind of like amazing to be able in retrospect to look at it and say, wow, this is the next phase of who I am. And that was in my mid forties, um, through my forties. And um, then I started having, you know, I, we'll talk about the psychic stuff and, and my trans channeling. But then I moved into another level of it where I'm able to tap into spirit, to their guides, to our guides, to um, all different kinds of infinite and, and, and inspirational wisdom, um, you know, beautiful wisdom to help people define their soul's purpose, to help them live within their soul's purpose and help them improve their life, you know. And I, I, I mean, I'm honored to be able to do that. It's, it's amazing. I love it. <laughs> and, and much needed. For sure. Yeah, for sure. Um, you, you, um, it, it, we just talked about the process. It's quite the process. Cause it's like, yeah. you're never there, you know, right. spirit mm -hmm. says, okay, now we have this work to do. And it's like, ah, wait, mm -hmm. what? Yes. What yes. am I supposed to do? Yes. I know I'm kind of facing that right now. And it's like, okay, I'm finally taking the steps. And once you kind of get in alignment with it, it just flows. It does. It really flows. Yeah. Yeah. So what um what tips or advice would you have for our listeners who have awakening hearts to have the courage to face their fears? Oh, it's such a good one. This is why I created my portal. Because, you know, once you have that inkling of awakening, once you have that little spark inside of you that sees more and it feeds you you it's your job then you're able to witness your soul 
it's your job to continue to move towards it, to continue to evolve your spirit. Because, you know, we are physical beings, but we're, we're spiritual beings having a physical experience. You're going to come back again and 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 again to learn these lessons. And once you have that inclination that there's something greater, that you are more than this projector, this, this, the, you are the witness, you are the being, you know, you are infinite energy that never dies. Then you want to start elevating and elevating. And I created spirit calling for people that are seeking for the people you're just talking about, because when I was having my spiritual awakening, I didn't have anyone. I was by myself. And all of those things that I experienced, I was alone. I would come again uh, among someone every now and then. I'd, I'd meet someone and there would be something. And I had a friend who started reading books that I was reading and we were going on our path together. But I would say to honor it, that's, that's one thing, to honor it. And when you're honoring it, you're honoring yourself. You're honoring your soul. So to nurture it. You know, to be inquisitive. I call the people that that are members on our portal. We, we're, they're spiritual, spiritually curious. They're metaphysically curious. We're, they're seekers. So you are a seeker. And that means you're in the beginning of your spiritual awakening. And it's an amazing thing. It could be hard, but hard, beautiful, you know, hard, easy. You're doing things to expand yourself. And as you do things to expand yourself, these challenges get a little easier because you're witnessing them more and you're witnessing them more and you're getting a greater expanded consciousness. Every time you push through fear, every time you push through fear. Love so that. I would, I yes, would just more say, awareness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And I would say, ask spirit, ask your guides, ask the universe for support. Um, that's what my community. I love that you mentioned the projector that we yeah. are the projector, you know, and we have all these perspectives mm -hmm. that we can observe from you yeah. know the film going through before you see it what's coming up on the screen yeah. all of those different perspectives I love it yeah. and when you said it's your job to mm -hmm. continue nobody can do this for you right no. mm -mm, so no. we have to draw right. to us those people who are ready to make yes. this yeah. to do this work this is not easy work no I'm filling up with sure. vibration right now which means that someone will be watching this that is struggling with that and it's really going to speak to them it, it is work but it's beautiful work it's absolutely beautiful work and um you know it starts with like one small little thing you said the projector too i remember i remember the moment when i i actually realized that i was witnessing my thoughts do you remember that did you have that experience I was actually witnessing myself there was a separation and, there, and there yeah. was that separation. And I was like, mm -hmm. that was like a moment. Right. And then, and then, you know, spirit gives you as much as you can handle when you need it, exactly what you need when you need it. So when you start to have, um, you do a meditation and you don't know how to meditate. And then someone gives you a little tip or a trick or you hear something that's because you need it at that moment. And then you're able to meditate. And then maybe you're going to see some colors in the, in the peripherals of your eyes. And, and that's something new. There's just enough at the time that you need it. And, um, you know, we're all born with, with psychic abilities. We're all born with clair senses. We all have um, a connection to the divine. We've just been programmed to not, to not live our, our, our reality that way. But that's innately who we all are. So you're trying to return to that. It's basically what your spiritual awakening is. You're trying to return to that um, essence of who you are, your soul. Exactly. And you mentioned earlier community and how yeah. it is so important that we return to that community. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I was reading through this and it looks like you have a gift for our listeners, a seven day free trial of yeah. community membership. Tell yeah. us about that. Yeah. So I'll tell you about the community. Can I tell you why the community started? Can I tell you how it started? Oh gosh, yes, absolutely. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. And I think when people hear this, then then they're like, then they're like excited about it. But um after a um seven-day ayahuasca journey in Costa Rica, I had been having like some psychic stuff happening before that. But on this journey, I had amazing experiences where I kept raising my vibration 
because I was releasing past life trauma, raising my vibration. And at the end of the week, I had a light come through the center of my eye, my in my third eye, and crackle, crackle, crackle. And I heard, your psychic abilities have been enhanced. Everything will change from this moment on. And then I, and that was in 2019 of November. And I came back, you know, busy, hectic holidays. And then COVID happened. COVID started. And I remember that it was greater than myself. I remember I just heard something to, that said, go within, go within. So I started meditating every morning and I started continuing the work that I had been doing when I was working with ayahuasca. And suddenly I started feeling um, angelic beings. I started channeling. I started having all of these experiences. And one night in the middle of the night, I woke up and I heard spirit calling, spirit calling. And I went, what was that? And I wrote it down. And I woke up in the morning and I bought the domain. And then every time I meditated, I heard you're supposed to build a portal for humankind. You're supposed to build a portal for humankind. They're going to awaken and they need a place where they can be held. And I said, a portal. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't know what a portal is. I know what a website is. And, um, and then about a year later, I, in the middle of the night, I saw this little icon, these wings fly down and fall on the face of an iPhone screen. And I got up and I sketched it. And then I realized pew, 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 it's all the same thing. It was spirit calling. That's the portal. And so I started creating it. And at the time I had a partner and we built this beautiful place and it's for people who are like you and I, and, and people who are listening, who are on their spiritual awakening, who need a community. It's people just like you, people who are trying to understand the experiences that are happening to them, who are trying to learn. There's resources, there's coursework, there's events every month, there's a live meeting room where people can just sit and chat, they can have their coffee. And um, there's healers and practitioners that are there. So if you're having a question and you don't understand something, they're there to support you. If you have an experience and, and you don't know what it means, you can post about it in the community. And people will say, well, I had something like that. This is what I did. Or a practitioner might say, you need an energy clearing. I can help you with that. It's an amazing place. So you don't have to be alone like I was. Everything, I put it all together for someone. And it's vital. Community is vital because you feel alone. You feel confused. You don't know what to do. I was, I was alone. I had experiences at night. I didn't know what the heck was happening. I really didn't. And it's the root I, chakra, and and yeah. so many of us are unrooted. Yes, you know, we have no roots, and no. If you yeah. don't have roots. You don't have community. Yeah. It's, it yes. can create anxiety and all kinds of yeah, you know. And we talk know, about physical, that. emotional. Yeah, yeah. When you sign up um, for our newsletter, so those of you who don't want to try the seven day free trial, you can put your name in for a mailing list. There are signs of a spiritual awakening, and it talks about that. People don't understand that. I remember when I was with certain family members, they weren't my husband's family. They used to make me so anxious. The thought of being with them would make me anxious. And, and I went on, I went on, you know, pharmaceuticals for that. But it was energy. It was energy. And I needed to understand how to manage my energy. We have a free energy management course that you can take and, and it's self-led. I mean, these are the things that I know people need. And I really, that's my greatest work is to help people yeah discover their community and their rootedness for sure yeah. it's definitely a need thank yeah. you for providing that and we are going to provide details in the description so definitely look out for that yeah. thank you so much darling for being oh, you're welcome here i'm excited to have been here awesome and awakening hearts listening thank you so much for being here on this journey with us and please let us know in the comments what you loved and what you would love more of. And in the meantime, keep being amazing.